At a time when her life should have been filled with joy, Rita's life was covered in dark clouds as her husband left her because he gave birth to a black baby. However, when he returned three years later, what the DNA test revealed will shock you. In the hospital's labor room, the air filled with Rita's loud cries as she started giving birth to her baby. The doctors and nurses around her gave her constant encouragement. Jacob, her husband, held her hand tightly and supported her. With her eyes closed tightly, she continued to push until the baby was born. The baby's cry filled the room and she felt relieved, lying back on the bed. But as she lay there, she realized something was very wrong. All she could hear was her baby's cry. Otherwise, the room was eerily silent. Confused, she opened her eyes and saw everyone looking at her with unease. A nurse carefully placed the baby in her arms. When she looked at him, she was beyond shocked. It was a baby boy, which wasn't unexpected because of the ultrasound months ago, but what was surprising was the baby's skin color. He was black, she was white, and so was her husband. She couldn't speak as she stared at the baby boy. The little boy stopped crying as if he knew she was his mother and he felt safe in her arms. Rita turned to her husband, but he moved away, looking at her with pain and disgust. Jacob couldn't believe that his wife could cheat on him after all they had gone through. The only way she could have had a black baby was if she had been with a black man. Rita reached out her hands to him, but he angrily pushed them away and told her to keep her distance. She begged him a lot. She didn't understand why their baby had dark skin, but she believed there must be a good reason for everything. Jacob, though, didn't want to listen. He said he couldn't deal with this and that their marriage was over. Rita felt her heart shattering into a tiny million pieces as he watched him leave. Rita was quite bewildered, and she didn't realize when the nurse took the baby boy from her to clean him. She couldn't understand how the birth of their child, which should have been a happy moment, became so sad. She had never cheated on Jacob. Her parents weren't black, and neither were Jacob's. So how did they have a black baby? It felt like the universe was punishing her for something she didn't know about. For the rest of her stay at the hospital, Rita was depressed. Jacob never returned to see her, and it was heartbreaking. He ignored her texts and calls and was fine with leaving her alone with the baby. Eventually, Rita left the hospital and returned home. She found out that Jacob had taken a few of his clothes and was staying somewhere else. She called his friends, but they refused to divulge where he was staying. They blamed her for hurting him and wanted her to leave him be. Rita tried to move on with her son. It wasn't so easy, but with her son by her side, she managed to pull through. Little Damien had her eyes, and whenever she looked at him, he would give her a radiant smile that would warm her heart and make her believe everything would be okay. She called him Damien, the name she and Jacob had agreed on before his birth. She was ready to hold on until Jacob returned home, so they could move on with their lives. But would he ever return? After three months, Jacob finally came back. Rita had hoped he would feel better and join her to figure out why their son had dark skin. But that didn't happen. As soon as he returned, he began getting angry even when there was no reason to and only spoke to her when it was necessary. He wouldn't hold or even look at Damien, their baby. When the baby cried at night, he would get very upset. He told Rita many times that he couldn't let another man's baby disturb his precious sleep. Rita wept till her pillows were soaked. No matter how many times she swore she never cheated, Jacob never believed her. He was certain she cheated with their black neighbor, who was rich and had two kids of his own. When the accusations became too much for her to bear, she suggested that they go for a paternity test, but Jacob immediately refused. He was certain that the result would come back negative, so he wasn't interested in even trying. As the weeks rolled by, the arguments between the couple worsened. Jacob would be gone for days without caring about Rita's feelings. He also told anyone who cared to listen about how his wife cheated on him with their neighbor. Whenever she went outside, people would look at her with disgust, roll their eyes and point fingers at her, blaming her. Everyone in their community saw her as a cheat and a terrible wife. Things got even worse when Jacob and their neighbor got into a fight. They ended up getting arrested and they spent the night in jail. The next morning, Jacob returned from jail looking haggard. He had finally had enough. 
Rita was nothing but bad luck. As soon as he got into his room, he packed all his stuff and told Rita he would be going for good this time around. He also promised that she would hear from his lawyers. When Jacob left the second time, Rita sank into a depression. Although it took a while, she finally realized that there was no point in holding on to someone who clearly didn't want to stay. If Jacob could leave without giving her the benefit of the doubt, then he definitely never loved her as much as she thought he did. With these thoughts in mind, Rita happily signed the divorce paper when it was served. Navigating life as a single mother was both challenging and unexpected for Rita. Throughout her pregnancy, she had anticipated sharing parenthood with Jacob. Nevertheless, she persevered in being the best mother she could be, undeterred by the circumstances. After Jacob left, people in the neighborhood kept talking about Rita. When she couldn't bear it any longer, she moved to a different city along with Damien. She found a smaller house and got a job that let her work from home. This way, she could make money and focus on her son completely. She showed him much love and ensured he had everything he needed. With the responsibility of caring for him and her job, she hardly had time for being social. However, she made sure to regularly take Damien out for walks. They would visit the park and enjoy long strolls during pleasant weather. With time, mother and son developed an incredible bond. They became inseparable. As time passed, Rita gradually healed from the pain of Jacob's departure. She grew accustomed to his absence in her life. She never anticipated the possibility of seeing him again. However, one morning exactly three years after he had left, she received an astonishing and unexpected surprise that left her speechless. That morning, she heard a knock on her door and went to get it. To her shock, it was Jacob. He looked immensely pleased to see her and was about to walk into the house when she blocked the entrance, demanding to know why he was even there. He had no place in their lives and as a result had no right turning up on her doorstep unannounced. Jacob fell to his knees and began to beg for forgiveness. He was certain now that he had wronged her years ago and should have believed her when she insisted on her innocence. He told her the tragic story of how his father had been diagnosed with leukemia and urgently needed a bone marrow transplant from him. However, it turned out their stem cells didn't match. DNA tests revealed that he wasn't related to the man whom he had thought was his biological dad. Jacob's mother revealed a hidden truth about her marriage. She had an affair with a black man and became pregnant with his child. Despite this, she didn't want her marriage to fall apart, so she told her husband that the baby belonged to him. Luckily for her, Jacob was born with white skin, making it easier for her to bury this secret. However, the diagnosis of leukemia unraveled the hidden truth. Jacob went down on his knee and apologized to Rita. He was certain that Damien was his son. He was ready to run DNA tests to prove just this fact. Rita only laughed at him. As she told him, she already knew that. She hadn't cheated on him. Refusing to give up, Jacob promised to be a better man and the best father for their son. But Rita wasn't having it. He had abandoned her at a time she needed him the most and left her to raise the child alone. He had also ruined her reputation in their neighborhood. And perhaps worst of all, he had never cared for and loved their child. Nothing would make her ever accept him. Rita kicked Jacob out of the house and warned him to stay away from her and Damien, or she would call the cops on him. Filled with regret, Jacob shamefully walked away, wishing he had done things differently. What would you have done in Rita's shoes? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. See you in the next video.